Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Human Geography course. Today we're going to learn about the geopolitics of energy. Why is there conflict over energy resources? Well, our energy resources are finite, but our wants are unlimited. Problems arise when we're trying to export and import these resources between countries. As a planet, we face three main problems that are going to arise from energy supply. This is the disruption to the energy supply, the environmental impacts caused by using it, and energy shortages in developing nations. Here are some examples over conflict over energy. Terrorism threats to the USA from Iraq happens if the US keeps exploiting it for its oil. These tensions can arise which can um, cause wars and also invasions. Saudi Arabia can break down their links with the USA if they feel that they're not being treated fairly when trading with their oil. Perhaps the USA are going to exploit them because they're their biggest importer. Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, warned that the West that they would be cut off from their oil supply if Moscow is not treated as an equal trade partner in a lot of European and cross-Atlantic transactions. Some developing countries elect religious leaders that don't uh, run the country as a free market economy would and take it more as a dictatorship. This disrupts links with the West and as a result it can prevent the trade of resources. Also, TNCs exploit resources in developing countries for lower costs. As a result, the lower countries don't make as much money from them, and this leads to social welfare loss. So, what, how is the geopolitics of energy managed? Well, we can have organisations set up, such as OPEC, which can manage countries so there's no conflict. OPEC is an organisation which aims to ensure the stabilisation of oil prices so that there is a secure, reliable and economically equitable supply of oil. It's made up of 12 countries and they own 80% of the global supply. It sets policies between them so that the manipulation of the price in order to control the world's um, supply fairly actually can happen. TNCs therefore won't exploit the members for their oil since they can actually control the price themselves. Now what you can see now is a a map showing all of the countries that are part of the OPEC organization. As we can see that the main supplies of oil, mainly located in Africa, in South America, in the case of Ecuador, Venezuela, and also in Saudi Arabia and the countries in the Middle East. Here are some questions on ge geopolitics of energy. Answer these on another sheet of paper by pausing the video and hit play for whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on TNCs and their role in energy production. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.